All right, President Trump also tweeting today about the Federal Reserve saying if the Fed had done its job properly, which it has not, the stock market would have been up 5,000 to 10,000 additional points and GDP would have been well over 4% instead of 3% with almost no inflation. Quantitative tightening was a killer, should have done the exact opposite. So far, the president has floated two names for his pick for the Fed board, Herman Cain and Steve Moore. A little bit more on Herman Cain in a minute. Joining us now, President Trump's pick for the Fed board and Heritage Foundation's visiting fellow, Steve Moore. Good to see you, sir. I appreciate it. it. Uh, you wrote the book. We have it right here, Trumponomics, uh, the Inside America First Plan to Revive Our Economy. During your book tour, you were emphatic in your support for the president's economic policies. Proof you said that things were good. Now he's saying, well, the Fed's done something wrong. How were things so good if the Fed was screwing it up so badly? Well, look, Leland. Uh, you know, I was I was fortunate enough to to play a role in the in the uh, presidential campaign, working with Donald yeah. Trump, putting the tax plan together. I think it's worked spectacularly okay. well. We just got another data point um, on Wednesday or Thursday of last week: the lowest number of Americans signing up for unemployment insurance, like unemployment 50 years or something in, like that. So yeah, it's, a, it's a very healthy economy. Okay. I, I and by the way, people keep asking me, "Will you be?" This is one of the controversies of my appointment. Mm -hmm. Will I be independent right. of Donald Trump? And I will. I look. I think. A lot of the so stuff you, he's I, done I, on, on the great. Is the, is, the but, under, but, is the undertone of this answer, which is a, a long one, that <clears throat> you may not necessarily agree with the president's tweet there? You know, there's elements of it actually I do agree with. I actually Are there do. If you, you go back, with? if you go back to the summer of 2018, last okay. summer, the economy was growing at four percent. Okay. We had full employment, mm -hmm. rising wages, and no inflation. I mean, okay. that's a pretty beautiful picture for an economy. Right. And the Fed started raising interest rates, and that's when I, and independently of Donald Trump, he he was criticizing Trump, uh, the Fed. I, I criticized them as well, especially in December when they raised well, rates well, in the stock we'll market. Make, we'll make this, so we'll my, make this easy. Hold on. Name yeah. me something. Name me a monetary or fiscal policy in which you have publicly distanced yourself from the president no, in the past two years? I mean, there's years. a number of things. First of all, I think that Washington is spending way too much money, and I wish Trump were vetoing more spending bills. Give me something uh, on the Fed, and, and, in, well, from the Fed uh, standpoint. On trade policy, I'm more of a free trader than he is. Mm -hmm. on, on the Fed, he likes low interest rates because he's a real estate guy. Right. You know, real estate guys like it. I'm in favor of a reduction in rates now, not because, you know, I'm in main reason is because I'm worried about deflation in the economy. Now, actually, the last uh, few weeks, things have looked uh, pretty much better. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to analyze the data when I get over there, but I'm going to stick with what I said back in December. I think the December rate increase was a disaster. Uh, mm -hmm. Trump does, too, and I think it should be reversed. To be reversed? Okay, something that obviously you're going to be asked about it when you get to the Senate confirmation mm -hmm. process. Uh, right now, it was you and Herman Cain. Mm -hmm. Herman Cain's uh, nomination looks to be on life support. I hope very not, because I think Herman well, Cain is a great choice. Well, I mean, I think having a businessman yeah, we, would be we, fantastic. We, we, we put up the four senators who had come out basically <clears throat> publicly and said they're not voting for Herman Cain, which effectively would kill the nomination. Either way, you said, I can think of nobody better qualified to be on the Fed board than Herman Cain. Mm -hmm. Really, nobody? You can't well, think of a single okay, other person maybe, in America. <laughs> well, look, what I meant to say is, look, both, both my choice and Herman Cain's choice is unconventional. You know, we, okay. we both will probably go over there and we'll be thinking outside of the box. And what's wrong with that? You're, I mean, you're, you're, is, you're a little bit more in, I, in, yeah, but here's in the, the riverbanks than 999 no, no, Herman look, Cain's look, problems. By the way, I, love, I think 999 is a cool plan, but here's the point. You know, why does it have to be, Leland, that you have to have all these Ph.D. academic economists over at the Federal Reserve? They're the same people who made the mistake in December in, in raising the rates. I think having people who represent business, represent farmers, have poly ex policy experience like I do, would be a, a healthy, um, you know, breath of fresh air for the, the Fed. Okay. And by the way, so, you know, I, I think the idea that everybody has to be a Ph.D. economist is just wrong. By the way, the chairman of the Fed, Fed right now is not a Ph.D. Right. economist. And you're not being nominated to be the chairman. It's, yeah. it's one of right. Many on the, uh, that vote and is, is part of this. We'll, we'll button this up real quickly when it comes to the issue of the gold standard, because in the past you have talked about being in favor of the gold standard. Take a listen. Yeah. We need to go back to a gold standard. We really do. This is about monetary policy, and, and let me just say this. Um, yeah, I like the idea of going to a, a gold standard. 
So have you changed your views or modified them? So, uh, by the way, some of those tapes are <laughs> like 25 years. I still have what, dark what, hair back then. So, old, you know, look, I, my position is I want to have a, a dollar that's stable in value. Okay. That's how we have a currency. Uh, my good friend Steve Forbes, who's on your show often and on Fox often, he's a big advocate of the gold standard. I don't think I would go for a gold standard right now. I do want the dollar to be as good as gold. I want it you, to retain you, you, its value. You understand and why want, that causes why? consternation why? and concern. No, I'm saying in terms of the independence from President Trump. You understand why the, the questions are asked. Asked about well, Donald be Trump is independent. I don't think Donald Trump is for a gold standard. What I'm, in fact, what I'm for is using prices. The the purpose of the Fed is to keep inflation and deflation under control, to keep it stable, not to try to. You can't stimulate the economy by printing wait, 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 dollars, wait, wait, right? We'll, we'll button so, it up real quickly. Yeah. Would you be willing to make a decision on the Fed that was potentially politically inconvenient for President yes. Trump heading up into the? into yeah, the real act. Yes, because I think what you want from the Fed is stable prices. You know, you don't want to just inject money into the economy. By the way, that's a failed formula. You can't create growth by printing money. If it were that simple, <laughs> Mexico and Uruguay and Zimbabwe would and be the would be wealthiest be countries well in the world, right? right? So you don't, and by the way, growth does not cause inflation either. That's where I differ from a lot of the, just because you have right. more people working and higher wages, that does not cause inflation, okay? Uh, That's good. your economic lesson today. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate it. My, my professors at Northwestern would be happy to be that I got an extra one. Continue, I'll debate them anytime, Continuing continue economic education here on America's News Headquarters. Good to see you, Steve. Thank Thanks you. for coming in.